else are we gonna show? Because half of this stuff I have to hide from my husband. Don't say I said that. It's our secret. Hello friends, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you what I bought. I am in the mood for spring and I had mentioned that in my last video. It's not even looking remotely like spring outside, <laughs> but I'm anxious for it. So I went shopping in preparations and I'm gonna be changing the colors on my deck this year. Not really a cool color type person. I'm more into warm colors. So this is a big change for me. Uh, maybe, you know how they say that your tastes change every seven years? Maybe your taste in colors and things change too. I don't know. I'm gonna start with a thrift store that I just left. I am so excited about these, I can't even tell you. How gorgeous. These are Ravensdale pottery from Staffordshire, England. So I was just extremely thrilled. I love the pattern and I'll show you guys a close up. I Googled these and on eBay, I found one plate, one plate for $20. I got six plates for $20. Can you believe it? I cannot say how extremely excited about this I am. So next, I'm gonna show you the Dollar Tree stuff that I got. So most of these things are for upcoming DIYs. They're actually pretty heavy candle holders, and I'll show you a close up. But they're the ones that say love, hope, and faith on them. This is all stuff that I'm going to be doing for spring. These are going to be spring DIYs. I also got three of these candle holders. So this is one of the colors that I've chosen and I do love green. Green actually used to be my favorite color. It's, it's fresh, it's clean, it matches everything. If you think about it, green is the color in nature that matches every flower. It's got like the mercury glass bottom on them. So I loved these. So I also got at the Dollar Tree six of these round candle, or candle, round mirrors. And I have something in mind for these. We'll see if they turn out. So something else that I got from the Dollar Tree was these, they're like a tapestry type rug. Woven rug is what they're calling it. Um, and I got two of those. I'm not gonna use them as a rug. I do have some, I have an idea. We'll see, we'll see if it works. But I like the color. There again is that green. And I got a foam wreath. Woo, exciting, I know. Five of the glass, the smaller glass cutting boards. I have an idea. Again, we'll see if it turns out. I really hope so because in my mind it's beautiful. So <laughs> it doesn't always work out that way, but I'm really hoping. So I think it will. So but we'll next I went to Walmart and I found, how many did I get of these? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the boxwood branches. So these are the, the ones that are 97 cents a piece at Walmart. I actually used these in one of my Christmas DIYs. These are the ones that I flocked for my Christmas tree. So, and I think those turned out amazing, but yeah, I just, I wanted to get these for another idea that I had for, and these are for the upcoming DIYs that I'm gonna be doing. Might as well get this one out of the way because this one has nothing to do with the deck for this but summer. It is something that I got at Walmart. And it's the Lilac Breeze candle. Now, I'm not usually that crazy about the mainstays candles. I don't know about you guys. Um, it doesn't seem like they put out a lot of scent. 
I'm kind of always on the search for a good candle that puts out a lot of scent, but the Lilac Breeze, it does. This is the one that actually has a lot of scent. You light it, you can really smell it in the room, even a big room. And, Cause my bedroom's pretty big and it's got really high ceiling. So this candle scents the entire room. It reminds me of my mother-in-law who passed away. She had these at the beach house. This was the, the scent and that's where I fell in love with this candle. I wouldn't normally go for like a flower scented candle, but I'm unbelievably sentimental. So <laughs> if you know me, then you, you know how sentimental I am. But yeah, this makes me think of her. Makes me think of the beach house and how much she loved the beach house. So yeah. I also got four plain clay pots. So I haven't decided if I, if I want to actually paint them white. I kind of, I'm kind of into the, the natural color of them this year. I don't know why. Something triggered me and I was just like on the hunt for clay pots. And I, I have a few in different sizes and you can get these at the Dollar Tree too. Um, I don't think this big, but yeah, I got these at Walmart. I think they were, I don't know, like maybe a dollar 98 a piece or something like that. So, yep. Of course, I have a DIY in mind. I got one of their medicinal aloe vera plants and I I have one already, but they have them on clearance for $5. Also got this succulent. This was I think it was $10. But I just, I have one of these and it is so prolific. So that's why I, I thought I, I had to have another one. It's in a clay pot. Both of them are, so it kind of goes with what I'm, what I'm moving towards this year. Also found this wooden cake plate or cake stand at Walmart and it was on clearance for $15. So I'm not sure if it had a, a glass top, a, a glass dome on top of it. I don't necessarily remember them. I'm sure that they were there and I wanna say they were in like the fall stuff. So let me know, did they have a glass that you guys remember? Um, it didn't matter because I have extra glass tops that I can use for it. So, but yeah, it's just that natural wood. I think it'll go with the terracotta, so. Yep. And these are my new colors. I got two of these. I might go back because they had amazing pillows, outdoor pillows this year. And I got this one too. And red is my favorite color. So it has a little splash of red in it, but it's got the green and the blue. So I did film and wanted to be able to show you guys all the pillows. I love those bee pillows. Those are so, so cute. And they've got yellow striping on the back. I almost went with that and, and almost went with yellow, which I love yellow, but uh, I just felt like the colors that I chose are more river appropriate. Um, I love the gray ticking on the back of those rooster pillows, those dragonfly pillows. I might have to go back and get a couple of those. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys think I should go back and get some of the dragonfly, or maybe I need more of the other colors. So when I'm pulling them out, I'm seeing if there's another design on the back side of them. I love the ones with the roses on them. Those are so beautiful. The colors are amazing this year. They're just getting their spring and summer stuff. So I love the colors. So, yep, these are what they've got so far. So it just, it just looks so fitting for living here on the river. So that's why I kind of went with, it's very soothing and, and cool when it's really hot outside. I think these colors are gonna be great. Um, and I actually have some dishes that are kind of turquoise colored glass dishes. So I think those would look nice out there with these too. 
So we'll see. I'm, I'm really excited to change everything out. I am excited to have a color that I've never chosen before. This is probably a, a common color for patios. I, I'm not sure really. I usually go for neutral colors, like just green maybe, um, or tan or gray. And I've had a lot of shabby chic stuff out there before too, because I love shabby chic stuff and I have a ton. Yeah, I'm excited for, for these colors to be out there. I'm, I'm excited for summer, spring and summer. I am ready for it now. I'm gonna start crafting. As soon as I get my craft room cleaned out again, it's, that room is like, we're actually going to switch, take all of my craft stuff out of the craft room and move it out. We've got this, this little building outside. Um, it's called the prayer closet. That's what my husband named it. My son and him built it. So we're gonna move his stuff out of there and it's gonna be turned into my craft room. I can't wait. I'll have my own little craft area that's like separate from the house even. And you guys have never seen it, so I'll have to, uh, I wanna get it all ready before I show it to you though. But guess what color the carpet is even? It's red. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm excited to start crafting for spring and summer. So anyway, that's what I've gotten so far. Um, have you guys started buying stuff yet for spring? Um, besides like Easter stuff or Valentine's stuff, I guess I am, I did kind of halfway look at that stuff, but I wasn't really interested in buying that right now. I was more interested in like the bones of my patio area um and then i can you know add seasonal stuff on top of it but these are these, this is going to be the base colors so i'm excited about it and i can use my carnival glass i have i inherited my great grandma's collection of blue carnival glass so i think that it will look really pretty out there with this so Anyway, I'm in a talkative mood. Can you tell? Let me know if you guys know anything about those plates. Because I am super excited about those. I love the pattern. Anyway, you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.